This 10-lane highway in Southern California sees roughly 400,000 vehicles a day, and in 2026, it'll be home to the largest urban wildlife crossing in the world. Currently, this stretch of Highway 101 cuts right through Los Angeles and isolates certain wildlife from their natural habitat, ultimately affecting species survival. At least 26 mountain lions have been killed attempting to cross the highway in the last two decades. To combat the issue, the state of California is building a bridge, a wildlife walking corridor, to allow wildlife to safely walk over this portion of the 101. Wildlife advocates say this crossing will help prevent wildlife deaths and help mountain lions breed and find food. Beth Pratt is the regional executive director for the National Wildlife Federation. Wildlife crossings are something, it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat or, or what political affiliation, people really support them. I think there's very few people who don't get upset when they see a dead animal on the side of the road. So I think that this is something that in a time where we agree on very little, we pretty much agree on wildlife crossings. Wildlife crossings are nothing new. The United States has more than 1,500 of them in 43 states. This is a wildlife bridge on Snoqualmie Pass while it was under construction along I-90 near Seattle, Washington. Coyotes, elk, deer, and other wildlife are able to use the structure that resembles their natural habitat and safely walk from one side of the highway to the other. Other countries have them too. In Australia, the red crab migration causes millions of red crabs to move to the ocean where they mate. This bridge was built on Christmas Island National Park to help the crabs cross over the road and avoid passing cars. California's new Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing will be covered in soil and different vegetation to closely resemble the natural habitat on either side of the 101, making it easier for animals to find food, shelter, and mates. It'll be the largest wildlife crossing in the world and is on track to open in early 2026. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. If you want more unbiased straight facts, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit san.com.